Hello there. A couple of people have asked me about this video made by a Dr. Zach where he's showing that the sun can't be, well apparently showing that the sun can't be 93 million miles away. I remember when he, he put it up, I had a quick look through what he did, I really couldn't be bothered analysing it. But people have mentioned it and apparently flat earthers are really impressed because He's used some calculations and he's done some diagrams and it's all very impressive. So what I did was I had a quick look through some of it and I'm not going to go through all of it. I'm just basically going to go through the first calculation he does and show that it is just complete and utter garbage. Um, and it's just dishonest what he does. And I'm going to show you how to analyse properly the information that he's using. So what he's doing is he's he's started, as you can see, he's got a diagram of the Earth as a spherical Earth with Cape Town and Budapest marked on them. And he's done it to scale, uh, so it's all nice and mathematical. So he's got the distance from Cape Town to Budapest in scale. And what he's going to do is he's going to work out what the angle of elevation of the sun is at the two locations and use that to try and estimate how far away the sun is. So what I'll do is I'll just let you watch um, what he does for a couple of minutes and then we'll talk about it. Now we are going to use the time and date website to get the elevation angle of the sun at the two cities. Now let's start with Budapest, Hungary. It's 16.89 degrees. Let's just say 16 degrees. Now I'm going to draw the angle. There you go. 16 degrees. Now let's see Cape Town. 66 degrees. Please bear in mind that Budapest is one hour behind Cape Town and that the sun right now is not between them, somewhere above the ocean, but that's not going to make a big difference. Now let's draw the angle in our cap. Oops, I made a mistake. Should be 66 degrees and not 65. Let us check the website just in case. Okay, it has changed to 65. Good. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. This is nothing to worry about, by the way. One degree of difference would not change anything. And I will explain why later. Now I am just changing the colors of the lines so as not to be confused. And by the way, if we follow these lines, they should take us to the sun. Take a look at this image. Well, now let's do an outlook at to measure the distance. If you think that if we open these angles a little bit more, we will get to 93 million miles, then you are wrong. Oh dear, okay. First point to make is, let's talk about the angle of that the sunlight hits the earth at. It is as good as parallel over the surface of the whole earth. There's a very slight deviation. To put in, to give you an idea how much it, that is, if the sun was directly above the equator on an equinox, equinox, and you drew a line from the North Pole straight to the center of the sun, and you drew a line from the South Pole straight to the center of the sun, the angle between those two lines would be 0 0.002 degrees. Absolutely tiny. Smaller than any kind of error tolerances or accuracy that you would get on time and date. So there's no way you could even use the information on timeanddate.com. Um, next point to make is, when I use information on time and date or Google Earth, I get told by flat earthers that it's not valid and I'm just using information from NASA or the 
global conspiracy and it's all all I'm doing is just confirming that their model is uh, conforms to what you'd expect or whatever whatever they're going on about whatever paranoid garbage but apparently he can use the same information and flat earthers say it's okay so I don't really know what his point is is his point that you can use this information that's accurate to calculate the angle of elevation of the sun or sorry, to calculate the distance to the sun or is he saying that this information is wrong and it's not even consistent with itself I don't know what he's getting at but there's no way you could even use the information on these, these websites to do these calculations to get the, the angle of the distance to the sun. So first of all, let's, well, let's just have a look at what he's done here and just show you how dishonest it is and then we'll, I'll show you what you should do. Right, so he's, um, he's, he's on the 6th, 7th of January, the first one Budapest, and he's going at about 25 past 1 in the afternoon. Now, so you can see from 1322, 1325, the altitude of the sun in the sky is about 17 degrees, which is what he said. Cape Town, 7th of January. Now it's an hour ahead, so you go to 1422, 23, 24. You can see that the altitude of the sun is 67 degrees in the sky. Now what we need to do to do this properly is to know exactly where the sun is. And you can get that again from time and date. But you need to put the time in in UTC, which is Coordinated Universal Time. Now, Budapest is about an hour, not an hour, it's an hour ahead of UTC. So to know where the sun would be at the time that these two altitudes that, is, that, we've, that we're using would be valid and we, the time, the, sorry, the sun would be, the time that we need to put in for the sun is about an hour before the Budapest time, so 12.24, 12.25. And for some reason you can't put 25 in here, it keeps going to 24, but it doesn't make much difference. So the sun is about 22 degrees, 24 minutes south and about 4 degrees, 29 minutes west. So let's have a look at this on Google Earth. So I've already got this up here, so you can see I've got a marker for Budapest. I've got a marker for Cape Town, and I've drawn a line straight, in, straight between them. Now if you look up here, this shows you where the sun is at this time. And I've got a marker there. Now, Bring up the information for that marker so you can see that it is <clears throat> kind of roughly what it says on that website. 22, well that is 24, de 22 degrees, 24 minutes, 24 degrees, 29 minutes west. So, so I've got the sun where it's supposed to be. Now the first thing to say is that the sun, as he admits, is not on the line between Cape Town and Budapest. What he does on that piece of software, if even if it was going to be valid, it, the sun would have to be it, it lying on this line. It would have to be between the two places. And like I said, he admits that it's not, and then claims that that's not important. That's just, that's just a total lie. That's garbage. Of course it's important. It's significantly deviated from this line. It's not as if it's even just close to it. It's miles from it. The angles he's using are way off. Completely off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this to analyse uh, the situation properly and show you that it's all perfectly consistent with the information from timeanddate.com. So what we need to do is we need to get the distance from where the sun is directly overhead to these places. So the sun is here and we need it the distance first of all to Cape Town. Now the distance is about 1,600 miles. So if you were here where the sun is, the sun would be directly over your head. It would be vertically above you. So it would be zero degrees from the vertical. 
What we want to know is how many degrees from the vertical it would be at Cape Town, which you can calculate basically using this part of the circumference of the Earth to turn it into an angle. So the distance is, what, 1,600. So if you divide that by 24,900, the circumference of the Earth, and then times that by 360, it gives you that as an angle, which is 23.1 degrees. So according to this, if you were at Cape Town and the sun was here, the sun would be 23 degrees from the vertical. So we want it as an angle of elevation, so we take that away from 90, and that gives you 67 degrees. And what did it say for Cape Town? 1425, 23, 24, 25, 67 degrees. It's perfectly consistent. All this information is consistent. Let's do it for Budapest. So it's about 5,000 miles divided by 24,900 times 360. So that gives you um, about 73 degrees. Wait a minute, I'll do it, so I'll do it more accurately. So 5,030 miles it is really. 20, divided by 24,900 times 360. Yes, yeah, so it gives you about 73 degrees. So at Budapest, the sun will be 73 degrees from the, the vertical. So the angle of elevation, you take that from 90, is 17 degrees. Which is exactly what it says it would be here at 23, 25. 17 degrees. So it's all perfectly consistent. So what this means is that the line that would be coming straight from the line from this point on this on the Earth that would be going directly vertical at that point would be parallel to the line drawn at this location at an angle of elevation of 17 degrees and it would be presuming the lines in the right direction which if you check the distance if you check the directions they do tie up as well and if you drew the line at an angle of ele elevation or an angle to the horizontal of 17 degrees at this location then it'd be parallel so all three lines would be parallel so the sunlight would be hitting the earth at the same um, all the, the sunlight would be parallel at these three locations and like I said, there would be very slight deviations, but they're not. The, the information is not accurate enough to show them. So you can't even use this to measure the distance to the sun. So, and um, what he does in this video is just, it's just complete nonsense. It's dishonest and it's nonsense, and it proves nothing. Because as I said, the information is not even accurate enough to show what you're he's trying to show. And he's not even used it properly anyway. And you couldn't, you know, even if you did do it with the sun between here, I mean, it, it wouldn't be accurate enough. You would get very slight deviations, which would mean that the lines would would not be close enough to be, clo they wouldn't be close enough to show the distance to the sun correctly on that diagram. I mean, it, you'd be way out. I mean, what this information shows is that within reasonable degrees of, within reasonable levels of accuracy, all the information is perfectly consistent and there's no problem with it at all. It shows that all of the sunlight at these three locations is, would be parallel, which is what you'd expect. Now, I'm not wasting my time going through anything more that he's done. That's enough for me. I mean, what he's done here is just utterly ridiculous and... I can't really be bothered looking at anything else he's done.